Hello everyone and welcome to an updated K-pop album collection, aka also kind of a shelf tour. Um, so yeah, the last time I did one of these was way back in December. It's crazy that it's already the beginning of April. I can't even believe how fast that came. Um, so yeah, um, the last time I updated you guys was the first time I had shown my new shelves in my new apartment, but I have now been living in this apartment for five months, which is also <laughs> crazy. Um, it feels like I just moved in. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go shelf by shelf. The top couple of shelves, my uh, tripod will not reach, so I'm gonna have to hold the camera with my hands and it might be a little shaky. So just a disclaimer there, but otherwise I think we are good to go. So let's begin. So way up at the top of my shelves, <laughs> which are so high, I'm standing on my bed right now. Um, we have a bit of my BTS collection. So we have the memories of 2018. We have the tour book. We have a bunch of DVDs, which are the um, fourth muster and then the Seoul Europe in New York DVDs. Um, and then we have BTS World. We have the notes notebook. We have the light stick. Um, and then we have a couple other random albums that I can't fit on the rest of my shelves yet. I do plan on buying a new shelf soon once um, stores reopen. Um, so next to my um, light stick, we have Genu's uh, Hey Day, is that what it's called? Yeah, Hey Day, his solo album. Um, we have the boys DIY Dreamlike. We have two Ace albums and then we have um, Pentagon, uh, the Black Hall, as well as Taemin's Japanese album. Back there, if you can see, we have uh, BTS uh, Shuka's Mattel doll, as well as all of the Funko Pops for each character, as well as a little Shuki there that I got when I was in New York at the line store. So that is the top shelf, and now we can move on to the next one. So next up, we have my actual BTS shelf, which is a lot more full than it was the last time I showed it to you guys. Um, so I have since completed my BTS album collection. Um, I made a whole video about that, so I will link it up above. But yeah, it kind of just goes in order from Too Cool for School, Oh Are You Late Too, School Love Affair, Dark and Wild, In the Mood for Love Part 1 and 2, Young Forever. Then at the top, there's a random Japanese album I bought when I was in Japan. Um, and then we have Wings, all versions. Um, we have You Never Walk Alone, Love Yourself Her, Answer and Tear, as well as a standee. Um, and then we have Persona, Map of the Soul 7, which is huge. And I've recently moved um, my TXT albums onto the same shelf as well. Now we'll talk about all the little random things that are on here. So as you can see, there's a lot of Shooky. On the far left, we have a hair tie. And then in the middle, kind of, we have, I don't even know, it was like a little plush with a string of some sort, maybe a mascot, I don't know. He's sitting on top of a Love Yourself slap bracelet that I got at the Chicago pop-up. And then we have a gin cup sleeve event, um, cup sleeve. <laughs> in the back there, we have a Shooky fan, a Shooky Funko Pop, and a little Sugar fan, uh, sorry, not fan, um, what is it called? banner standee thing that I got at the Speak Yourself tour in Chicago. Um, so yeah, that is the BTS shelf and now we can move down to the next one. So next up we have my Monsta X shelf with the, which is also super packed. Um, I have a complete album collection here. Um, we can't really see what's behind Juhan so maybe I'll move him for a second. So now that Juhan has moved, um, you can see that the albums again go in order. Um, we have Trespass, I'm gonna try my best here. We have Trespass, we have Rush, we have um, The Clan Part 1 and then The Clan Part 2. Then we have, uh, what is that one called? Beautiful, then we have Shine Forever, we have The Code, we have The Connect up at the top there, as well as one version of, um, what's it called? All About Love, because I couldn't fit it with the rest. Or I guess I kinda could now that I'm looking at it, but whatever. Um, we have the signed album that I got at the concert last year, and then behind that signed album we have um, all four deluxe All About Love. On top of that though, we have Kihyun's version as well as four random Japanese jewel cases. Um, below the All About Love albums, we have all versions of Follow, um, Are You There, and We Are Here. And then next to that, 
we have um, some tour DVDs. So we have the 2018 The Connect in Seoul DVD, as well as um, the 20, is it 18 or 19? 2019 world tour we are here in seoul we have the regular as well as the kino right next to it i do also have the follow kino above on top of both of those and now we can talk about all the random things on the shelf so we have the wano standy here that i refuse to get rid of uh, i don't collect wano but i did not want to trade him so he's on my shelf um and then we have a minhyuk as well as a kihyun and minhyuk um cup sleeve event cup sleeves we have Juhan in his little frame over there, as well as both versions of Monster X's light stick in the back. And as you saw earlier, I keep Juhan's uh, member version of All About Love off to the side there as well on display. And then if you look over here, hanging on my shelf, I also have the VIP lanyard that I had at the concert last year. And above it, we have a little shaky pouch as well. So that is the Monster X shelf, and now we can move down to the next one. And I'll be able to use a tripod this time. I lied, the tripod is still a little too short for the shelf. So um, yeah, this is my NCT shelf. Um, so we'll go from left to right. So basically we have a birthday bracelet over there. Um, and then these are not really in the order of release, really. Um, they kind of just go as they fit. So I have two Kinos up here, one for Superhuman and one for We Boom. Underneath that, I have their first album, NCT 127's first album. Um, and then we have three copies of Chain. We have Taeyong, Yuta, and Johnny. Underneath that, we have NCT Dreams the first. Underneath that, we have Cherry Bomb. Um, and then under that, we have uh, We Go Up. Under that, we have We Young. Under that, we have Take Off and Take Over the Moon. And then that long green thing at the bottom is the, um, what is it called again? Oh my gosh. Hello Soul photo book, I think it was. Um, and then next to all that, sorry, my arms are getting tired. Next to that, we have the two Empathy albums. We have two Superhuman albums. We have two regular or regular albums. And then we have two We Boom. And then we have the um, Neo Zone N and C versions. The T version has not arrived to me yet. Next to that, we have Super M, which I know is not NCT, but it just fit here. Um, behind there, you can see that I have Taeyong's um, picture disc for Superhuman. Behind him, I also have Johnny and Yuta's. Um, back there, you can see I have Chunla's uh, NCT Dream Japanese album. Over here, you can see that I have Regulate, which I have Taeyong, Yuta, and Johnny, and then I have the D-Icon magazine um, Taeyong's as well. And then over here, um, I have the Neo City tour bus. Um, back here as well, I have the selfie book, we have Limitless, and we have Taeyong's voice keyring. So that's basically my NCT collection. I do have a few more things, but they're a little lower on my shelves, and I will get to that in a moment. But next up, we can look at the next shelf, and I will actually be able to use the tripod this time. Okay, thank God we can finally use the tripod this time because my arms were starting to die. Um, so up top here on top of everything else, you can see that I have GOT7's Eyes On You 2018 World Tour DVD. Underneath that, I have two of the tour log um, pre-order benefits that came with Call My Name. Um, and then underneath that, you can see the beginning of my Stray Kids collection. So it goes from mixtape to I am not, to I am who, to I am you. And then it moves on to Miro, Yellowwood, and Levanter. What I love about Stray Kids and like just JYP in general is that most of the albums are consistent um, in height. So it just looks really nice on a shelf. Um, so next to that, you can see that my GOT7 collection begins. I'm going to move this album, but we will talk about it soon. So you can see that my collection starts with Eyes on You, even though I do have 7 for 7. It just kind of fell <laughs> behind my uh, headboard at my old house at home. So yeah, um, I have it, just not here. So it starts with Present You and Me, and then it goes into Spinning Top, and then Focus, which was just two. And then next to that, I have Present You, which I know is not in the right order, but I just wanted to keep all the albums that were the same height next to each other. Um, and then next to Present You, I have Call My Name, all four versions. And then next to that, I have uh, CIX's album, Hello Strange Place, and then Hello 
Stranger? Hello Stranger is the first one and then Hello Strange Place. So they look all the same, but um, yeah. And then that's where this came in. Ooh, that's upside down. There we go. So that is my signed copy of the album. So I have one, well, I have the blue one signed as well, but I think I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> um, but I do have one red regular of the first one, or sorry, the red one is signed from the first album and the blue is not. And then I have two unsigned for the second album. Um, next to that, my 17 collection begins. I'm gonna move the tripod over just a little bit. So there you have it, now you can see everything. So it starts with Teenage. I only have one version of the album for now, but I plan on getting the rest soon. I also do plan on going back and collecting all of BTS's, or sorry, all of 17's uh, prior albums as well. I just haven't gotten to that yet. Um, so then next to that, you can see I have both copies of Director's Cut. I then have um, the three copies of You Made My Day as well as You Make My Dawn. Um, and then on top of that, I have the An Ode Kino. Um, and then below everything, I have all four, sorry, all five editions of An Ode, but they kind of just look ugly on a shelf, so that's how I've stored them. Um, and then on top of them, we have Day Six. So we have one version of Shoot Me, we have two versions of Remember Us, two of The Book of Us Gravity, and then two of The Book of Us Entropy. And then next to that, I moved on to Itzy. So that is their first album there. I don't have their new one yet, but I am contemplating it. And then we have Taman's albums, we have Move, we have The Repackage, and then we have two copies of Want. I do want to go back and collect all of his backlist as well, so I'm hoping to do that soon. And yeah, that's the end of this shelf, so now we can move down to the next one. Here we go. So this shelf is super crammed. This one is like playing Tetris basically. I tried to squeeze in everything that I possibly could. I think I'm going to move the signed album out of the way as well as the AT's light stick and we can talk about that in a moment but just so we're able to see every album that's on the shelf I'm going to move them for now. So as you can see off onto the left side of the screen we start with Taeyang's White Knight album at the very top. Underneath that we have an AT's Japanese album as well as the three jewel cases next to them at the top there. Those are all Japanese AT's albums. Then underneath on the first stack, we can see two Pink Magic albums by Yesung. And then we have my AT's collection. So behind this red and blue one here, you can see that I have the rest of the collection as well. I honestly suck at remembering each of their individual album names, so I apologize. But basically we have the first one, the second, and then the next two albums are the third album. Then we have the fourth longer one, bigger one over there, as well as the anniversary edition. And then we have those two more recent ones there as well. Um, and then next to all the AT's albums, we can see that I have two um, Block B albums. We have Montage and Remontage. Next to that, we have Wu Song's Wolf. Um, and then next to that, we have the Roses Red album. Um, next to that, we have all four of One Us's albums. They did just drop a new single album, but mine has not arrived yet. On top of that, you can see that I have both X1's Kino albums. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then we'll move on to um, this stack over here. So at the very top, we have one copy of XO's Coco Bop. Underneath that, we have um, both of X1's albums. Underneath that, we have Everglow's first album, I believe. Is it first and second? I don't know what's there. I'm not even sure. Um, and then underneath that, we have some SF9 albums. So it starts with Oh Solo Mio, goes to Mamma Mia, goes down to RPM, then Narcissus, which I know is out of order, but I went by size. Um, and then the very bottom is the first collection. And then as you can see here, I also have the special edition um, Mamma Mia as well. Now I'm gonna move the tripod over a little bit so we can and look at the last section of this shelf. So in this last little corner over here at the very top, you can see that I have another copy of Coco Bop. Underneath that, I have all three versions of The Boys Reveal. And then underneath that, starting over here, we have EXO's Love Shot, both uh, versions. Then we have Baekhyun City Lights, both versions. We have one copy of EXO SC. We have one copy of EXO's Obsession. Um, and then we have both copies of, or sorry, both versions of Astro's All Light, as well as both versions of their Blue Flame album. 
Um, so now I'm just gonna put those random things back on the shelf. So as you can see, I have ATEEZ's little fan light that came out a little while ago. I did also order their light stick from um, my music taste, but obviously that has not shipped yet, as many other people's have not shipped yet. Um, and then I also did get a signed X1 album from M-Wave. It was signed by a random member, and I got Han Girls, so that was exciting. Um, and then over here you can see I have a little Shooky mug, as well as a Jinjin cup sleeve. Um, event cup sleeve. So yeah, we have one more shelf at the bottom um, and I might just hold the camera for this as well because it's very low to the ground. So last but not least at the very bottom, you can see I have all of my photo card binders. I did just recently do a updated photo card collection. So you can go ahead and watch that. I will link it up above, but otherwise we do have a few more albums here. I'm going to um, move this signed one out of the way and we can talk about them. So as you can see down here is where I keep my Very Very and Victin albums. So it starts with Very Us, goes to Variable, then to Very Chill, as well as Face Me. And then the Victin collection starts, so we have Voice to New World, Ready, Identity, From Victin, um, Time of Sorrow, Nostalgia, and then their newest album, Continuous. So yes, now let me just move that signed album back in front and we can talk about it. So I did recently purchase a all member signed version of Face Me by Very Very um, from M-Wave. So that just kind of sits there for now. Um, I feel like I might do a whole shelf just for like signed albums in the future when I have another shelf and maybe have more space. But for now, that's where it's gonna stand. And then I do have a few things off to the side over here. So I'm just gonna look at them real quick. So we have a couple large magazines off to the side, which I kind of talked about before, but um, yeah, they're just kind of like random ones. One has Victin in it, one has Sungyeon from X1 in it, and the other has Mark and Taeyong. Um, and then next to that, I have three copies of Awaken, which is NCT's Japanese album. So I have Taeyong, Yuta, and Johnny's version. And then I also have the, was it a limited version that came with the DVD as well next to it? And then the white box over there is NCT's 2020 season's greetings. And then next to that, we also have Victin's 2020 season's greetings. Next to that, we have NCT School Kit. I got the Taeyong version, obviously. On top of that, we have Big Bang's Light Stick, which was my first light stick I ever bought. And the first concert I ever went to was G-Dragon, so that kind of has a special place in my heart. Um, yeah. And then next to that, we have NCT's Light Stick. And behind that, I have got Sevens as well. So yeah, that is the last and final bottom shelf. And now we can wrap up this video. So yes, that is my updated album collection slash shelf tour. It's a bit of a mess. It's a bit crammed, I'm aware. But once uh, stores reopened, as I mentioned, I will definitely be buying another shelf and this will look very different, hopefully, in the next three months when I do my next video, if the world goes back to normal. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.